was this? What was what this? Was this? What was this? This creates a stir within. Oh, this was some great oh, music this was heavy. requested <laughs> by Yani. Wow. Yes. Absolutely amazing. This is heavenly. This was beautiful. Oh, oh. this was heavy. It just had that wonderful uh, under layer of light folk music and then it was that strong violin tune that was just so resilient, so beautiful, so powerful. It, uh, but even though it was so strong, it was so relaxing, so soothing. A anyone who's uh, suffering from hypertension, you know, high blood pressure, listening to music like this, this particular song of Secret Garden requested by our patron Yani, they will definitely, it will definitely help them lower their blood pressure. Music like this, that violin, and they often say, you know, some people say, saving the best for last. I'm saving the best for last. You know, it's usually it was given for a egg yolk, you know, a fried egg. When this fried egg was invented back in the West in the old days, uh, hundreds of years ago, uh, you know, People didn't know how to eat it. Okay. But there was one wise man who used to eat the egg yolk at the end. So he would like <laughs> to he would like to break the egg yolk right at the end after eating the white yeah. and eat it up, you know, literally with a slurping sound and all, depending which style of egg yolk egg it was, right. whether fried or uh, Benedict or whatever. Mm -hmm. So people said, why do you eat the egg yolk last? So he says, that's the best part of the egg yeah. and I'm saving the best for last. So in this song to Secret Garden took the same route. She saved the best for last. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. No, I certainly didn't you save that. my best for last. I like that though. Oh, so you I liked, liked it? it. You liked I it? didn't like it. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Whatever it was, I definitely need to listen to it more. This is my first time listening to this. What are your thoughts meanwhile on this? I think she played the violin and she also sung that or there was someone else who sung that. I'm not clear on that. Uh -huh. But what are your thoughts on that? For me, it doesn't matter who played what and who sang what. I It matters what I heard. And it matters how it impacted me, how it, you know, I uh, received it. This was wonderful. This was wonderful. This was heavenly. I have uh, goosebumps literally discussing. I showed it during the song. It. I yeah. felt it. Just the effect. It was a tingling it. feeling all over. Yes, it was. It was. I love her voice. We, and it's coming from uh, two reactors who have listened to and reacted to more than, I mean reacted to, I'm not just saying listen more to. More songs than anyone any, else anyone in the history that. of YouTube or social media. So we are, and uh, most genres that are there. I think we have reacted to almost every genre that is there, out there. Yeah. At least one song. We have Even if on. we have not reacted to it, we heard it. Yeah. Yeah. It may not have been requested, but we we ourselves we to to increase our appreciation of music, especially world music. We have heard all kinds of genres we could get our hands on. So this um, singer, I love her voice. Uh, in her category itself, we have uh, you know listened to and reacted to a lot of music. Seven. Some of it also you know became. Little bit, you know, when you start listening to it again and again, it wasn't that good. And a lot of people were forcing it uh, upon us. But when you listen to a genuine artist like her, you realize the difference and why you don't like everything. And that's the beauty of it. Again, coming back to saving the best for last. She didn't do it, use her voice. No, all the throughout. time. It's precious. It was saved for the very end, the last 30 seconds of the song. She saved it for the very end. That's mastery. That's really knowing what your talents are and how to utilize those talents to the optimum. She did it so beautifully. The violin, the enchanting folk-like tune, underlayer, that set the pace throughout. That was already blissful. As I said, it would lower your hypertension okay. if you're suffering from it. But at this, or, or stress, if you are suffering from stress, need to lower stress. As a psychotherapist, I will definitely recommend it. I do use it myself because I suffer from hypertension because of my upstairs neighbors and a lot of other issues in my life who cause a lot of problems. So, yeah, I mean, a lot of stress. But listening to this kind of song, stress lowers. So definitely it helps lower stress. So the violin, the backup singer, I mean, you know, the beautiful folk-like tune already was blissful. But when she came in, that was wow. That was a cherry topping. That was the icing. That was the, you know, the the pepper powder, the black pepper powder on my top of my fried egg. Fry. Yes, especially, sunny side up. Especially on the egg yolk. 
in the egg yolk Spring when it. I break that egg yolk and mix that black powder, pepper powder mixes and you take it in your mouth. That was a voice at the end. Ah, beautiful. I guess you have to wait for your pride egg till morning now. Yeah, till tomorrow morning. Yeah. Luckily, it's very late here already. So, it's I don't have to much. wait too long. Yeah. But yeah, the whole night, whole night, almost to wait. Yeah, that's it for this one. Maybe I'll have a late night egg. Who's to stop me?